All right, we are going to switch gears now and talk about the geometric sequences today, series tomorrow. So remind me what geometric sequences are versus arithmetic. Yeah, we're multiplying or dividing by the same number each time um, for the pattern in the numbers. So here's our formula here. We need the first term times the common ratio and then raised to the n minus 1. Okay, so if we wanted to list the first three terms of this sequence, just like with the arithmetic sequences, whatever the term number is, that's what you're putting in for n. So this one would be 12 times 5 to the 1 minus 1, 12 times 5 to the 2 minus 1, 12 times 5 to the 3 minus 1. So anything to the zero power is what? One. one. So 12 times one is 12. Two minus one is one. So 12 times five is 60. What's 12 times 25? 300? Somebody double check me. Okay. Yeah. Questions there? All right. So we're going to practice writing this formula just like we did with the arithmetic ones. Okay, so I will put this back up here. So AN. We need a1, the ratio, n minus 1. All right, so we need to put what right here? 14. First term, 14. Then we need the common ratio, and then we have raised to the n minus 1. Now, the nice thing about the geometric ones is we don't need to simplify anything or combine like terms. We literally just put in the first term and the common ratio. Here's the really easy way to find the common ratio every single time. You take a2 divided by a1. So take your second term divided by your first term, that's your common ratio. So if we take 35 over 14, what does that simplify to be? 14. If you have 35 over 14, what does that reduce to as a fraction? Think about it, what could you divide them both by? 7, so that would be what over what? So we've got 35 over 14, right? So that would be 5 over 2. And that is it. You have your formula. Okay. What about this one? An equals... What goes here? 63. What's the common ratio? Remember, you take your second term divided by your first term and simplify. What do we get there? Okay. Let's try taking it one step further. So we're going to find the formula and then find the term that they want us to. All right, so going here, we've got a n equals 9. What's the common ratio? <clears throat> we should be able to do this in our heads real fast here, guys. What is it? 4, thank you. All right, so now we're looking for the 10th term. So we simply do this. And when you put it in your calculator, it's easiest if you just simply do this part in your head, the 10 minus 1. So do 9 times 4 to the 9th power. What do we get? It's a big number. Anyone? Anyone? 
What is it? I missed the last three. All right, this one. An equals 11. What's the common ratio here? Five. We're looking for the seventh term. So we put that in the calculator, 11 times 5 raised to the 6th. What do we get there? Thank you. Okay, so we put our first term. What's our common ratio? Okay, take 51 divided by 3, we get 17. So to find the ninth term, we'll put that in the calculator. What do we get? It's going to be a very large number. <laughs> or if it showed up in scientific notation, what is it? Okay. Thank you. It's it's okay to have it in scientific notation, especially if that's what your calculator gave you. That doesn't bother me. Or you could have the whole big number if you have it on your screen. Questions here? Are we good? All right, what if there is a term missing? So we have a shortcut, just like we had a shortcut for um, arithmetic, we have a shortcut for the geometric if we're missing that common ratio. Okay, so if we have these two terms, so t sub x equals m, t sub y equals n, we divide the two numbers, the later term divided by the earlier term, and then we take the root of whatever y minus x is. Okay, so let's <clears throat> practice this. We have, we have the first term and the fourth term, and we want to find the ninth term. Okay, so we need to find the common ratio. So what would we divide underneath the root? Mm -hmm. Now to figure out what root it is, we just take the little numbers and we subtract them. So 4 minus 1 or 3 would go there. Okay, so you need to be taking the cube root of this number. Now, just to remind you how to enter this, you're going to hit the 3 first, and then there's a little root button with an X there. You want to use that one, not the regular square root one. And then it's going to hopefully give you a parenthesis. And then you just hit divided by 45, end the parenthesis, and we should get the answer. Let's see if all of us can get the same number. What do we get? Yeah. What do we get? 1.2? Yeah. All right, so now we know the common ratio. So if we write our formula, what's going to be the first number we write down? 45. Yep, because that's our first term, 45. We just figured out that the common ratio is 1.2, and then we got raised to the n minus 1. Well, we're looking for the ninth term, so all we, do have to, all we have to do is put a 9 in there. 45, 1.2, 9 minus 1. So the ninth term is... Is that what everybody else got? 
3.49. Questions there? All right, we're going to try one last page here. All right, so this is similar to the last one. Okay, so let's start, about, start out by finding the common ratio. What are we dividing? What order do we always go in? It's what divided by what? Not largest divided by smallest. Later term divided by the earlier term. Okay, so this is the later term. And the earlier term is 13. What's going to be the root out here? Minus. It's going to be 5 because we take 8 minus 3. So we need to take the fifth root of that fraction. So punch that in your calculator. What do we get? Three. Three. Okay. All right. Now, on this one, we don't have the first term. So what did we do with the arithmetic problems like this? What did we do with this T3? We made three and one. Yes. We dropped this down to be T1. So how many spots did we move back? Two. two spots. So the others have to move back two spots as well. So this is now T6, and we're looking for T9. Okay, so now we can write our equation. A sub n equals what? Uh, no, 13. 13 is our first term. We figured out our common ratio is 3 and minus 1. We're looking for the ninth term. Nine minus one. So what is a nine? Questions on that? Last problem. All right, what would be really good information to know so that we could fill in each of these? The common ratio? Okay, so let's do just that part. So R is going to be equal to, let's think about this. This is what? And this is a... 5. So what divided by what? And what's the root number? 4, because it's 5 minus 1. Okay, what's the fourth root of that fraction? I believe it's 1 third. Okay, so that means we are multiplying by one-third every single time. So what's one-third of 810? What's one-third of that? 90. What's one-third of that? And then one-third of that is 10. Questions on that?